What would you do if the ground beneath you suddenly gave way? Today, we're exploring a real-life event that turned this nightmare into reality. The Nicole Highway Collapse. On a seemingly ordinary day in April, the year 2004, the bustling city of Singapore was struck by an unforeseen disaster. The Nicole Highway, a major arterial road, collapsed. The incident occurred in the afternoon, a time when the city was teeming with life. The collapse did not just create a gaping hole in the highway, it also caused the loss of four precious lives. Countless others were injured, and there was a significant disruption to the traffic flow that rippled across the city, affecting thousands of commuters. The impact was immediate and devastating. The city's heartbeat, its infrastructure had suffered a major blow. The magnitude of this disaster shook Singapore. But what led to this catastrophic event? In order to understand the collapse, we need to rewind back to the construction of the Circle Line MRT tunnel. Picture this. Singapore, a bustling metropolis, home to a complex labyrinth of underground tunnels. One of these was the Circle Line MRT tunnel, a massive undertaking that would connect key points across the city. The construction process was no easy feat. It involved excavating through soft marine clay, a type of soil abundant in the area. However, this particular soil type is notorious for its instability, especially when subjected to pressure or weight, a fact that would later prove to be a significant factor in the collapse. The engineers on the project used a technique known as high-pressure grouting to stabilize the soil around the tunnel. This process involves injecting a liquid grout into the ground which then hardens and reinforces the soil. However, it's a delicate balance. Too much pressure and the soil could be disturbed leading to instability, too little and the soil might not be adequately reinforced. Now, add to this mix a breakdown in the monitoring system. The system, designed to alert engineers of any significant shifts in the soil, failed. This was like removing the guardrails from a winding mountain road. With no alarm bells ringing the silent shifting of the soil went unnoticed until it was too late. Investigations into the collapse would later reveal these factors as the main culprits. The soft marine clay, the high-pressure grouting, the monitoring system failure, all played their parts in this tragic event. Each was a domino, and when one fell, it set off a chain reaction that ultimately led to the collapse. The collapse wasn't an act of nature but a domino effect of human error and geological factors. The tragedy was a wake-up call for Singapore, prompting a thorough review of their construction processes. After the dust of the Nicole Highway collapse had settled, the Singapore government took decisive action. Recognizing the need for change, they enforced stricter regulations on tunneling works to ensure a higher degree of safety and oversight. But they didn't stop there. They also installed enhanced monitoring systems, using state-of-the-art technology to detect early signs of potential structural failures. These systems give engineers a fighting chance to intervene before a minor issue transforms into a major catastrophe. And lastly they understood that technology alone isn't a panacea. Human expertise is equally important. Therefore, they invested in advanced training programs for personnel involved in construction projects. These programs are designed to equip them with the knowledge and skills to handle challenging scenarios and make critical decisions swiftly and accurately. These measures, both technological and educational, aim to safeguard Singapore's infrastructure and its people from similar disasters in the future. They are a testament to the government's unwavering commitment to safety and continuous learning. In the wake of disaster, Singapore demonstrated resilience and a commitment to learning from its past. The Nicole Highway collapse was a tragic event that led to a significant transformation in Singapore's construction industry. This disaster, born from a mix of unforeseen geotechnical conditions and miscalculations, served as a stark reminder of the importance of diligent planning and stringent safety measures in construction projects. In its aftermath, the collapse became a catalyst for change. The Singapore government, recognizing the need for improved safety protocols, responded swiftly with a comprehensive review of construction practices. The result was a series of measures aimed at bolstering construction safety, including stricter regulatory oversight, enhanced worker training, and the introduction of more robust construction methodologies. In essence, the Nicole Highway collapse was not just a disaster but a pivotal learning moment for Singapore. It's a testament to the nation's resilience and commitment to continual improvement. The lessons learned from this incident have undoubtedly made the construction industry safer, not just in Singapore but potentially around the world. Even in the face of tragedy, there's always an opportunity to learn, adapt and improve. Until next time stay curious and keep asking why.